is the old back tyre. Well, it's not old, it's got tons of meat on it. But as you can see, there's a nasty screw stuck in it. So I'm going to have to rechange that and get a new front as well. The good news is, brand new tyres for this year. Michelin Anarchy 3s. And look at them. Brand new design from Michelin. See the grooves in between there? That's apparently to uh, kick all the dirt, dirt and mud and grease and crap out of the tyres while off road. And these uh, indentations here, one there, one there, one there on each tread. And for the water, I'll show you the rear. Fantastic. 20% more life than the previous, and you can see such a difference in the tread style. I got on the bike yesterday and it felt amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just because this is more round on the edge, and obviously on the other tyre, it's more square, it's more. Um, so it's, it just feels so much better on quarters. So there it is. Brand new Michelin Anarchy 3s. New for 2013. I think January they came out. Not even on the website yet. Michelin website. Um, you can find, I found them last night after much Googling time on an American website. Well, yeah, I'll give you a you better review when I uh, bed them in a bit better because they're literally, they've only done four, four miles on them. So guys and girls, just on a little uh, a ride out today. Whew, it is bloody freezing, absolutely freezing. But anyway, here it goes. So I hope you guys appreciate this. <laughs> now, I'm going to try out some... Um, little gizmos as well, uh, trying out my sat nav, put my little cramp buster there, which I'm actually going to take off, because it's not for, for lane riding at all, well, it, it does work, I'm happy with it, but um, long distances, motorways, that's about it, uh, I like to have more control. Uh, especially around these roads and stuff like that. And uh, the sat nav, sat nav and holder, uh, homemade holder that I made. Uh, how much? How much was it? It was uh, £8.50 in total it cost me to fabricate. Um, I bought some screws, I bought some washers. As you can see, uh, that's the mount from the uh, the sat nav holder that I bought. That you just seen. That is a lamp from IKEA, which I've just chopped to size. Drill two holes through there. Two reefing bolts straight through there. Uh, washer either side. Uh, rubber washer on that side. Metal washer on that side, just to protect the bike and bolted it up. Bobby Bloody Dazzler. All for a total of uh, £9. Just under £9. Can't complain with that, can you? And also, I was going to do a review on the Michelin Anarchy 3s. Because um, they're absolutely amazing. So yeah, Anarchy 3s, um, the new, brand new tyre, 2013, I think they were out in January or just, just after Christmas. Um, Michelin, uh, I think they've decided, right, most people who ride adventure bikes, they don't usually go off-road. Some do, some don't. I'd say probably 80, 85% stay on the road. Um, I think I've been on off-road 
on this bike maybe uh, three times. I'm not talking motocross off-road, I'm just talking a bit of on a beach, a bit on, a, bit on some grass. If I want to uh, do off-roading, I'll buy a KTM in my eyes because that's what they're for and they're a lot lighter. My previous tyre, as you can see, the Anarchy 2s, um, they were good. They were a good tyre, but... Ooh, we've got a Ford going on here. But they're not as good as the Anarchy 3s. Why? Shall I tell you why? So the Anarchy 3s... Oh, wow. That was adventurous, wasn't it? <laughs> Well done. The shape of the Anarchy 3s compared to the Anarchy 2s, they're a lot rounder. So therefore, uh, the more, more like a, a bit of a sports, sports tyre or supermoto tyre, should you have it. Whereas the Anarchy 2s, they were more like a, a semi nobbly shall we say. Um, the advantage of the Anarchy 3s being um, rounded, more rounded. You've got more contact patch, contact patch for the tyre to be on the road. So therefore it enhances grip, it enhances braking and the way the Anarchy 2s worked previously, when you went off-road for example, the mud sort of bedded in the tyre, the more mud you got in there. Supposedly with these tyres you don't get that. You don't get that bedding in. Um, because they're a different style of tyre and they've got the grooves that go uh, across on each pattern and then they're sort of uh, tethered. And that helps for the, the, uh, the muck or the dirt to dis be distributed out of the tyre. And instead of it sort of bedding in the tyre, it sort of makes its own little track. I think they're, I think they're a fantastic difference. I was very, very uh, dubious at first. Very, very dubious. Um, I was thinking, hang on, that's such a difference. How that, how's that going to work? But I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, I'll give it a go. I'll see what happens. Um, obviously, Michelin Michelin are not wrong, we can't be wrong, and they haven't been, everything's improved, the braking, um, the grip's improved, uh, the ride has actually improved, it's so much smoother, it's unbelievable, um, and it's a lot quieter as well, and apparently it's supposed to be 20% more life, in these tyres than the previous, uh, which is always a bonus, isn't it? I mean, if you ride adventure bikes, um, I would definitely recommend getting these Michelin Anarchy 3s. They are superb. As I previously said, the braking improves, the stability improves, the ride improves, the smoothness. Everything just seems to be so much more improved. Even uh, when you wheel it about, for example, uh, even that's improved. Um, you're going to say, oh, it's a new tyre. Of course it's going to be different and it's going to be improved. Yeah, you have to ride it to know what I really mean, to be honest with you. Anyone who's had Michelin Anarchy 2s, uh, uh, the Torrents, any sort of tyre like that with any sort of uh, knobbly tread I recommend uh, getting yourself some Michelin 3s Anarchy 3s
Guys are so smooth, even at, even at 70. I mean, 60 officer. Like I say, even at um, 60 officer miles an hour, these, these, these corners are so smooth. Whereas previously, they weren't as smooth, they, they were a bit jittery. I mean, if you ride adventure bikes, um, I would definitely recommend getting these mixed run Anarchy 3s. They are superb.